Hello everyone, in this video, we are going to launch an EC2 instance in our AWS account using Terraform. So Terraform is absolutely amazing and I will show you why I love it. So before Terraform, we used to create our AWS EC2 instance using the console and we used to go through all the steps that is choosing AMI, instance type, configuring instance, adding storage, adding tags, configure security groups and all the steps which was very time consuming. I've explained all of them in this, but now in this video, we're going to see how we can launch an AWS instance using Terraform. You will absolutely love this video. Before going ahead, there are a few things that you need to have to go ahead. So the first is going to be, you should have a code editor. I am using Visual Studio Code. The second is you should have a Terraform installed in your machine. To check this, you can run this command, Terraform version. So I've already installed Terraform in my machine. If you want to install, you can go check it out this video where I explain how you can install Terraform. The third is you need to set up your secret keys and access keys. I have also explained that in this video and you can go check it out using this command as well. So AWS configure, you need to put your access key here, your secret access key here, your region name and your default output. So we are all set up now and we are good to go to launch our first instance using Terraform. So I'm going to clear this. So to work in Terraform, the first thing you need is going to be provider. So I'm going to create a file and I'm going to name it provider.tf. When working with Terraform, your extension should always be .tf. So provider.tf and to explain your provider, I'm going to create my instance in AWS, right? So the provider is AWS. If I'm creating resources in Google Cloud, the provider is Google Cloud and there are a lot of providers in Terraform, AWS, Azure, GCP, Kubernetes, a lot of providers, there are extensive list of 1975 nine, providers. You name it, you get it. You can get Helm, Null, Random, anything you want. So there are a lot of providers. We are going to use AWS because we are going to create instance in AWS. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click on the documentation. So here is the AWS provider. So if you're using Terraform with version 0.13 and later, you can use this. Or if you're using less, you can use this as well. But we are going to scroll down and we are going to use this one. I'm going to paste this here and it says the provider is AWS region is US West 2 and the access key is you have to enter your access key or secret access key. So this is the another way to enter your access and secret access key, but I do not recommend it. Neither does a Terraform. Terraform says that the hard coded credentials are not recommended in any Terraform configuration. So you should not do this. Rather, you can go ahead and use the AWS configure command and set up your secret access keys and access keys there, right? So I'm going to cut out this block. I'm going to remove this. Perfect. So now I have my provider set up and how is Terraform going to know that this is the provider. So we have to run this command first. And whenever you work on Terraform, the first command that you need to run is going to be Terraform in it. So now Terraform is going to initialize the backend. It is going to get the information about the provider. It is finding the latest version of HashiCorp slash AWS provider and it is installing. So if you see here, you'll see a new folder Terraform, which has the details about the providers and it is encoded in binary and you also have a Terraform log. So now we have set up our AWS provider, right? So to check if your code or if your syntax is valid or not, the another command is going to be Terraform validate says that the configuration is valid, right? So we have our provider set up. Let's create our EC2 instance. So I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name it ec2.tf. So you have to name all the configuration files in .tf extension only. So to create an AWS instance, let's go to the documentation. So this is going to be documentation for AWS instance. So you can search all the resources here in AWS and you get it. Everything that you want, EC2 fleet, EC2 host, tags, there are traffic mirror, anything you want. Right. So we're going to use this as an example. So it has data resource that we are not going to use because it is going to complicate things. And let's copy this block here. All right. And I'm going to paste it here. So it says resource AWS instance and the name of the resource. The AMI is data dot AWS AMI. We don't we don't have any data blocks, So we're going to cut this. I'll show you how you can insert your AMI ID. The instance type is going to be T3 micro and the tags is hello world. So first I'll show that I don't have any instance named as hello world in my AWS US West 2 region. So I'm here in my US West 2 Oregon region. I, as you can see, I don't have any EC2 instance. So I'm not going to trick you. So to get the AMI ID, you have to first click on launch instance. And when you launch your instance, every instance, every AMI 
has an AMI ID right here. So I'm going to copy it and you can copy any AMI you want. Uh, if you want to launch an Ubuntu using Terraform, you can search for Ubuntu, press enter and you get the AMI ID here, right? But I'm going to switch for Amazon Linux and this is Amazon Linux. I'm going to copy this and paste it here in my ec2.ts AMI section, right? So I have, I have my AMI, I have my instance type. So this should be okay. To see what is Terraform going to create according to the configuration, there's a command name as Terraform plan, which shows what resources are going to be created. And it has also uh, put some files, Terraform state. So yeah, it says that one resource is going to be added. And if we scroll up, and if you can see the details, that instance type is T3 micro, the name is going to be hello world, right? So we know that this is what is going to be created. And so now we have the plan. So to get this, plan running you have to use this command that is terraform apply terraform apply and click here so again you'll get the plan on what is going to be created according to the configuration file so you can review if you want and if you're okay type yes so it will start creating the aws instance so if you can see aws instance is creating and let me just go back here so if you can see yeah it is initializing it is creating 10 seconds as passed and your instance is created in just 15 seconds, right? Isn't that amazing? If you go through that traditional way of launching an instance using console, it would have taken a lot of time. So if you see here, it is initializing, it is, and we have the instance that is hello world. It is a T3 micro instance. So that's how you create your AWS instance with Terraform. And let's just try more things. Let's say you want five instances at once. So if you're creating it with the console, you will go ahead and launch your instance five times, right? But with Terraform, it is like magic. You just have to give the argument that is count is equal to five. So you don't have to delete the existing one. You just need to run the Terraform apply again, or first you can check out Terraform plan to see what exactly is going to be created. So if I run Terraform plan, I should see four resources to be created because I already have one, right? So yeah, four, resources are going to be added. So if I run Terraform apply, and if you see there is only one instances right now here, it is refreshing the state, it is checking what is there in the console and it says four is going to be added. If you're okay, type yes, so I'm typing yes, and it will start creating the four instances. So one, two, three, four, it is creating. 10 seconds passed. Right, so it has successfully created and if I refresh this, I can see five instances of T3 micro in my console using Terraform. Isn't that amazing, right? So if you want to make any changes, you can just type it here in your configuration files. Let's say if I want all the uh, five instances to be T2 small. So I don't need to go ahead and destroy this or I don't need to delete this first. I just need to apply and Terraform is going to check what is the changes made and according to the changes, it will see and do the things in the console. Right, so it says five is five has to be changed. If I type yes, and it is going to start changing it. It is starting modifying. If any new resources is created, it is going to be in green color plus symbol. And if anything is going to be changed, it is going to be in yellow color tilde sign. And if it if it is going to be destroyed, it is going to be in red color minus sign. But let's just see. It is now T two micro, and. It has changed T2 small for the first and the second instance. So it has changed for the three instances now. So using Terraform, you can pretty much do anything that you can do with console. You can launch instances, you can create VPCs, you can do security groups. And we have not used security groups in this code here. So if you don't use any security group, the default one is going to be attached. So if I see here, the security group attached to my instances is default. So in the next video, I will teach you how you can attach your security groups with your ports and protocols, whichever you want. But if you don't attach it, the default one is going to be attached to the instances. So it's still modifying and it has modified for almost everyone except this. So it's in pending state now. So this is how you can launch your instance and it is not only restricted to instance. You can launch your RDS databases, you can launch your S3 buckets, or you can do anything you want. In the upcoming videos, we'll see how we can create EC2s. We can see how we can create VPCs, uh, your S3 buckets, RDS instances, and a lot, lot more. If you want me to make any more videos, you can let me know in the comment sections. So if you see here, we have 
successfully five instances that have been changed from T3 micro to T2 small. If you are done with this, if you want to delete all the resources at once, you don't have to go here and click on terminate for each of them. You have a command that is going to be terraform destroy, right? It will check the state and it will see what are the resources that are present here. And if you are okay with it, you can go ahead and type yes. And if you don't want it to be prompted again and again, what you can do is you can just write terraform destroy hyphen auto approve and this can work with terraform apply as well you can use terraform apply auto approve and it is not going to ask you for confirmation it will directly go ahead and destroy or apply your changes so this is how you create or destroy your instances or any resources in your terraform for more videos about cloud and devops please subscribe to this channel if you understood what is taught in this video please like to this video subscribe to this channel and I'm going to create a playlist about Terraform where I teach everything about Terraform like variables, outputs, meta arguments and things, everything. As you can see, Terraform has successfully destroyed. So isn't Terraform amazing? You can create or destroy instances in few seconds using your configuration files. Please subscribe to this channel and have a good day.